Hey everybody, Lexenda Swirl here. We are going to start another pour today. I'm going to run you through the colors first and then I'm going to uh, put you on pause <laughs> while I get everything ready down here so that when we resume video recording we can just go right into the pour. Um, I am going to pour using an egg carton or the, the bottom of the egg carton, the part the eggs sit in. Uh, I got this idea from Erica Art. She did an amazing set of these. I will link to those down in the description so you can see how hers turned out. Uh, but here are the colors. I'm just going to go through them real quick. Everything is one part paint to one part Liquitex pouring medium. And in two cases that I'll note when we get to those colors, I had to add a tiniest bit of water just to get it to a... It was so thick I couldn't even mix it. So a little bit of water for those. I will be flooding the canvas with my white Artist Loft white mixed with Floetrol and the colors are uh, we are using one Arteza today. It is silver. There's our Arteza silver so it's metallic. Then the rest of these are either Artist Loft, Blacrylic, or Liquitex Basics because those are the three main paints I have. So we're using Liquitex Basics Acrylic uh, Payne's Gray. That's this one. We are using Liquitex Basics in Brilliant Purple. You can't see that with my hand in the way. There you go. We are using Liquitex Basics Deep Violet. That is this one. And let's see, Liquitex Basics Acrylic in bright aqua green. This one had um, one part paint, one part pouring medium, and a little water. It was just super thick out of the tube. And Liquitex Basics in Thalo Blue, which is just, just a beautiful blue in this, this paint brand. All right, so I'm gonna get all the Liquitex out of here. The next two are Blicrylic. We have Blicrylic Violet which is this one. I'm not entirely sure about this one. It seems really super grainy, like the whole bottle of paint. Because I used the exact same pouring medium in this that I did in all the others, and the others are not looking lumpy or grainy, but this one just seems to have sand in it. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, maybe it was just a bad batch or something. But we'll give it a try. And my other Blicrylic is metallic gold, which is a very deep metallic. All right, those are my two Blicrylics. And uh, the other four colors are Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. We have, so they're all gonna be in bottles like this. We have the green, I've mixed up and put in a squeezy bottle. We have the yellow, we have red, and we have black. Those are all my colors. And the idea here is to hopefully put um, dark colors in that row, lighter colors in that row, and then we'll see what happens. But I'll bring you back after I've gotten ready to start pouring paint. Okay, let's put our colors in. I've got my white here, uh, which I know I said I'd never use again, but it's not a pouring color, it's just a backdrop. So we'll see if I still dislike white. Anyway, here we go, folks. I'll do all the dark colors first. This is my Payne's Gray, that's my black. Probably can't tell on camera. Okay. Here is Thalo Blue. God, that's a beautiful color. I will probably end up adding more. But I'm gonna start with uh, 
Start with what I'm starting with. I may just not talk. That would probably be better. I'm already forgetting which ones I paired with which. That's all right. So again, I'll wing it. Even though I call this a deep color, I think it'll be nicer against the purple. And this goes with the deep violet. the black. All right. Now, I think this is approximately 12 ounces. I probably have more paint, but once again, I didn't want to end up with less paint than I would actually need to cover this. Um, uh, now that I've got everything laid out, I'm going to go through and add a bit more, probably push my couple boundaries a little here, but that's okay. All right, this is the first time I've ever attempted anything like this, so we'll just see how it goes. Ready? slow. Okay, well that's interesting. A little heavy handed at the top because I was trying to get these two to come out faster. All right, well, let's tilt and see what happens. Hmm. 
afraid of wiping everything out. I actually really kind of like it. Huh. <laughs> I sound surprised, I know. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I knew mine wouldn't turn out looking like Erica's. Um, she's just <laughs> such a practiced, talented artist, and I am a beginner at all of this stuff. Um, but I don't, I, I'm not unhappy with this at all. Of course, I've got that white in there, doing cloudy things, but I don't, I don't mind. I think it's pretty cool. So what do you guys think? Let's do a close-up. Here we are, down at the lower right-hand corner, up the right-hand side. To the upper right hand corner, which is probably out of focus. I'm afraid I'm going to drop the phone right in the painting. Okay, across the top. And then down from the left top corner to the left lower corner. I just think this is really, really pretty. Here, we'll do more of a close-up on this. I'm happy with the metallics. Uh, let's go up the middle. And we have a lot of wonderful paints mixed up and ready to go for another pour. sideways so I can get the whole thing in frame. There we go. Let me know what you think everybody. Leave me a comment. Thumbs up. Even subscribe because I'm going to be doing more fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See you in the next video.